Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In last week's video, you guys saw me glam my sister, Chloe. I thought it was only right for this week's video to be me glamming myself. This is gonna just be like my little everyday makeup routine, if you will. It's kind of like my go-to look that I've been doing a lot. I have my extensions in. We're living the long hair fantasy. I've kept them in for a few days. I know you're not really supposed to do that, but the second they come out, they're not coming back in. I wish my hair was this long regularly. If you guys like this video, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's just dive right in, shall we? I have to show you all my outfit. <laughs> because this really makes me feel like I'm a YouTuber. We look like, you know, somewhat put together up top, but then we just got some, you know, some hot pink Barbie um, sweatpants on. Like, that's what all the YouTubers do, right? They look put together from like this point up. <laughs> so we are fully living the YouTube fantasy. I also have this really big crater going on right here, so just ignore her. She kind of came out of the blue. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, I've zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. You're gonna have to disregard it if I continuously look up at the... Girl, let me turn my phone off, hold on. Um, if I continuously look up at the viewfinder, I'm still not used to filming on a camera. <laughs> when you film on your phone, you don't have a choice but to just look at where the camera is when you film on the back end, so disregard me okay first things first I am gonna moisturize my face just a little bit using the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I will go back in and add more of this after the fact but sometimes I just feel like I don't know starting off with like a good layer of moisturizer and just letting it like fully seep into my skin just helps so much when I go to do my face we're gonna go in and do our brows first I always start with brows and then my eyes so oh, I had to take all my rings off because that is one of my biggest pet peeves when doing makeup is like my hands being dirty and I cannot stand to have product in between my rings. <laughs> so I, I had to go and take them off really quickly. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you know how much I love the soap brow method. I bought a brow lamination kit off of Amazon and I literally have yet to do it. You know why? Because I don't own saran wrap. I don't have saran wrap lying around like a, every other human being does. So, and I am just, I don't wanna go to the store just for saran wrap. I just, I really don't. So until then, soap it is. So this is the pears bar of soap that kind of went viral on TikTok with this method and it's a dollar at the Dollar Tree it's why I use it and like literally I've been using it for months now honey and I mean this thing is gonna last so long so I'm also just taking a spoolie I bought like a huge pack of little disposable spoolies off of Amazon and I'm gonna have my mirror down here so I look into it but I literally just take this and very like messily um, run it through my brows. This method is really only good for people who like fluffier, thicker brows. Some people love the thin brow moment and that is 100% okay. I mean, that that's what we did for the longest before this little method came around. So I don't blame you one bit, sis. Like you do you. That's the beauty of makeup is it's whatever the fuck you wanna do. Once I kind of have the soap in there decently well. I do take my finger and just kind of run it through to help coat those hairs individually. So now I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade and I am in the shade Dark Brown. I'm trying to, I'm sorry if y'all see my mirror in the frame. I just, I, I have to be like this close in front of the mirror. Like that's that's the only way I feel like I can see what I'm doing. From here, I'm just going to underline the brow and then whatever product is left on the brush, I just kind of bring it up into the middle of the brow and just fill in just very messily. So, I mean, you can already like see the difference. We're really just shaping that underneath portion of our brow. I don't like fill the brow in all the way until I'm done with my foundation just because there's it's so much harder to apply foundation to an already like 
perfect brow like it's hard to go around it okay so now that we have the underneath portion of our brows lined we are just going to clean it up with some concealer and then also prep our eye for our eyeshadow so i'm just using the elf camo concealer okay now that i have the concealer where i want it i just take a little brush some translucent powder and i set the lid for the look for this look i don't need the concealer to be wet um i actually prefer it set with this look just to soften things up a bit okay now that our eyes are prepped and ready for our eyeshadow i am going to grab a fluffy brush this is the m441 it's just a nice blending brush and I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam 2 palette. I really enjoy this palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Incense here. And we're gonna just start our windshield wiper motions. I have hooded eyes, so I always like create like a false crease, if you will. Like I always bring my shadow above my natural crease. Just because if I laid it into the actual crease, girl, you would never you would never see it. So this eyeshadow look is so simple. I have been gravitating to it a lot lately because I think of the simplicity of it. It's literally a two shade eyeshadow look. I mean, it's fairly simple. Like we just got that one shade laid down and then the next shade is from Nudie number two. This is that palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles that I used on Chloe as well in the last video. And this is the shade we are going to put on our lid. It's called Nudie, it's right there. It's a really pretty, I think just like a foiled shimmer or pressed glitter shade. And I just really love it for like this bronzed look. The best way to apply is just with your finger. And here's what the shade looks like. It's just so pretty and reflective and bronze. I just, I live for it. And you can just tell, it's just like, camera doesn't pick it up as good as it, you can see it in person, but it just really plays onto like this bronzed moment. I just love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now that we kind of have that shade just like very messily laid i'm gonna go back in with our original blending brush and that incense shade from that first palette and i'm just gonna go over the top portion and the outer portion of the eye just to kind of blend everything together but we don't want to take away from the shimmer i mean that is it for the eyeshadow to tie into this bronzed look what i think like really brings it together is using a brown liquid liner my video with chloe i used like my brow pomade as a liner on her i love that method too but that's definitely like a softened brown liner this is more of a bold brown liner so this is the nyx epic wear waterproof eye and body liquid liner just in the shade brown and it's a lot more of like a chocolate darker brown the only thing i can say about this is i don't really like the formula but i haven't come across a brown liquid liner on like the drugstore side of the market just yet and i don't know it's just not one of those things i'm willing to spend 20 plus dollars on but let me backtrack it's not a horrible formula like it definitely dries down matte it stays in place it doesn't budge so i do like that about it it's just thick it's very very thick when you go to lay it down and it takes some time to dry so you have to really be precise as to where you lay it because you can easily get it everywhere okay i'm back and the liner is on are they the most even wings no but with liner you got your good days and you got your bad days on those bad days if your liner is uneven girl just throw a pair of lashes on and call it a day do not sit there and stress about your wings because it is a bitch to get them to be perfect 
they'll never be perfect. Now it is time to prep our skin for our foundation. So I'm just gonna put some more of that CeraVe moisturizer on. Lately, I've really been trying to like prep my skin before foundation just because I find my makeup looks so much better and it just lasts so much longer when my skin is like really really prepped so i really have been trying to keep it hydrated as well after that moisturizer i go in with this elf prep and hydrate balm to be honest i don't really know if this works but it feels really really nice and i like to think that it works like it's cooling so i just really rub this all over oh my god my pimple hurts so bad and then next i go in with i went on like an elf kick one day and placed an order on their website just wanting to try a bunch of shit so here we are and so this is the elf hydrating primer serum looks like this just have been wanting the glowy skin look lately and i can never achieve it my skin just soaks up moisture it doesn't matter how much moisturizer or anything i use my skin just literally soaks it up and i just really want to be like a glowy dewy gal like my skin it just like will not allow it that or i'm just not using the right shit which is a huge possibility for primer i've been enjoying the elf jelly pop dew primer I discovered this from Michaela on TikTok. Our skin is all prepped and ready for some foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of spot conceal really quickly, especially over this crater right here. A little spot up here. I get these random little spots on my nostrils that just get pretty dry. Like I said, I went on an elf craze at some point and i really wanted to try the elf camo cc cream that's really why i placed an order so i have it here and i am in the shade fair 120 neutral and it's a pretty good shade match for me so that's why i've been enjoying it i like the finish and it's mainly the shade match i struggle so much with my foundation shades like it is so hard to find shades that match me in like formulas that I like. This was a pretty good one for buying it online. It's the lightest shade they own or that they make. So, I mean, I know there's people who are a lot more fair than I am. So I think like that's crazy that they don't have anything lighter. Maybe they'll come out with something lighter. I do like the finish too. It's, it's a pretty good, I mean, it's a CC cream. You're usually supposed to apply CC creams with a brush but I'm a sponge gal through and through I have not been able to master the makeup brush application for foundation I can't get it down so like <laughs> a sponge is just simpler and usually when I do try to use a brush I'm always going back in with a sponge to soften it out anyway so like why not just kill two birds with one stone and she's a sponge look i'm only blending it down to the t-shirt usually i blend down like to my chest almost just because my face my neck and my chest are three different freaking colors and that's why i struggle to shade match because it's like do you shade match your face do you shade match your your neck do you shade match your chest now we're gonna go in with the elf camo concealer this is in the shade light peach All right, foundation concealer on, looking a little less crazy, but we have to go in and set everything. I've been loving the Dragon Beauty, Nikita Dragon's brand, her translucent setting powder. Now, I'm just gonna be honest, it is a strong ass scent. No one was lying when they commented on the scent of it all, but like, I oddly don't mind it because like, I really want to know what perfume or what fragrance she based it off of because I want to buy it. Like, I want to wear it. I have the setting spray too and I'm always so tempted just to spray it all over my body instead of just my face because it smells so good to me. I remember in Manny's video he said that that is like how Nikita smells. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the brows. I'm just going to go back in with my dip brow pomade and we're going to shape the top of the brow. 
fill it in a little bit more, make them even, all that jazz. Okay, honestly, that's about the best that they're gonna get. They are definitely, definitely not twins today. But you know, that is okay, it happens. You just roll with the punches. We're gonna go in with that color incense from the Soft Glam 2 palette. And we're just going to apply shadow to our lower lash line. We're also gonna put some brown gel liner in our um, waterline. And this is just the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. I really love ColourPop's um, gel liners, especially like the retractable ones. I've really been into the brown liner trend and I really wasn't until it became a trend, but I love, love, love it. So now I'm gonna curl my lashes, put some mascara on and put lashes on, probably all off camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back after a short little intermission. I put my lashes on, some mascara on my lower lashes as well. We're gonna go ahead and jump into bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in the shade Tantastic. This literally is like my favorite bronzer. It's so expensive. Like, do I think you need to spend this much on a bronzer? No, but when I tell y'all I've had this thing for probably a year and a half, two years now, maybe more, a lot closer to two years, and I still have like a bunch of wear out of it. I mean, it's worth it in that aspect. And I just really like this bronzer shade on me. It just is like, it's not too warm, it's not too cool. I don't know, I just, I really like it for my skin tone. Mine's broken, but like, look at the pan size. You really get so much out of it. We're gonna do a little bit on our nose as well. I love this brush for nose contour. This is the Morphe E62 brush. This was in the James Charles brush collection. And it's just like, fluffy and angled and I really like it for nose contour. I'm not big on nose contour. Most of the time I don't even do it. It's not 100% necessary for me. I'm really not mad at my nose. I have a good side profile with my nose. If anything, like it's a little bit bigger towards the bottom, but at the same time, I have such a round and large face that I feel like if my nose was like super skinny, it just, I'd be very like unproportioned <laughs> to each their own. I know a lot of people like the skinny, skinny nose look, but it's not like anything I'm insecure about. So I don't always find it necessary to have to contour my nose. But sometimes if I wanna go the extra mile, if I have a little more time to spend on my makeup, you might as well just do the extra step and contour your nose, you know? Next, we're gonna go in with some blush. This is my all-time favorite blush, and I don't think they make it anymore, <laughs> which is really sad, and I'm not really a blush person. I've worn the same shade of blush forever since I got it. This is by Pixie. This is the Fresh Face Blush in the shade Beach Rose. I've hit pan, as you can tell. So I received it in my Ipsy bag one year. I went to like look it up, because I hit pan and I was like, oh, like I know I'm gonna wanna order this. I don't think it's made anymore because the only places I could find it were eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and like resale sites. So, Pixie, you should, you should get back on it because it seemed like people really liked it and enjoyed it. I really enjoy it. I do wanna mention for lashes, I'm wearing Lily Lashes in the style Hollywood. I love them, they are so just, fluffy and just full and pretty. Let's go ahead and do highlighter. I'm just going to spray my face just a bit. I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Frost in the shade Wet Dream. It's just a very golden highlighter. It's honestly too dark for me, but I bought it and I'm gonna use it. I think all that's left is the lips. This is by Dragon Beauty. So when I ordered a few things from Nikita's site, I was like really interested in this color lip. I just, it's such a pretty nude and it's definitely like a more warm tone nude. Whereas I feel like I own a lot of more like cool tone nudes. 
So when I do like this bronzy like eye, I really wanted like a more warm tone nude, but I didn't want anything that was like straight brown, if that makes any sense at all. And I love her, her packaging and her component. I mean, look at it. It is so freaking pretty. So this is by Dragon Beauty and this is a matte liquid lip in the shade Horchata. The only thing is, I feel like it's more of a satin finish than a, a matte because it does transfer. I'm gonna be honest, it does transfer, but the shade itself is so pretty that I don't mind. And it definitely takes a little bit longer to dry down, but it gives you more play time. Okay, so here's the lip. As you can see, it's just such a pretty nude. So the very last step to complete this video and this look is some setting spray. Now this is by Dragon Beauty. This is the Forever Fantasy Setting Spray. And like I said about the powder, it has a strong ass scent. Your beauty gurus were not lying when they said that, but but, but, but. When Nikita said that this will make your makeup stay and last and not go anywhere and will even be mask proof, like it won't transfer onto your mask, she was not lying. This is literally the best setting spray I think I have ever used to actually lock in makeup. Not to, you know, how I just use the Morphe one for highlighter. I like that one better because it's a continuous setting mist. It covers the whole face. Whereas this one, it is a spray, so you have to go in strides, you know? But it truly, truly, truly does work as far as making your makeup last. So if you can get past the scent, I definitely recommend trying it because I have been hooked on it. And I don't mind the scent, I mean, it's strong. It really is it's pretty freaking strong. But I really like the scent to the point where I wanna know what perfume it was inspired by because I really want to go buy that perfume because I, I just think it smells so pretty and just like something you would want to smell like. Let's let this hair down. Let's take this hair down, ma'am. Y'all don't clock me. My extensions, they, they do not match my hair currently. They were dyed to match my hair previously before I decided to be blonde all over, but it's fine. I wanted the full hair fantasy, so it's just just what it is we just we just pretend that it blends okay but this is the final look today so this has been my go-to glam for a little while now i'll show you guys the eyes a little up close but yeah i've been living for this look i am very proud of myself for even filming this video like getting this far and having a plan and filming it like uh, this video was filmed, by the time you watch it, this was filmed a week ago. You guys are probably like, okay, two videos in a row, whoop de freaking do But for me on YouTube, that's a freaking miracle. <laughs> but I'm really serious about getting back and, you know, really getting into it. I have a really nice setup now and I don't know, I'm just excited. And you guys definitely motivate me to want to provide that content for you all because, I mean, I get asked all the time to do certain things and there's just some things that i just don't feel like belong only for tiktok or there's certain things that like you just can't do for instagram i like if that makes sense i don't know doing any of this to make money obviously i mean i work a full-time job so my schedule is pretty hectic to begin with so everything i do everything i post all the pictures that are taken any type of content is all done on my off days. This is what I spend my off days doing. So truthfully, I feel like I'm working two jobs, but this is the job that I love more than anything. And if I could make it a full-time thing, I absolutely would, but that's not the reason behind what I'm doing. It just makes me happy and I just feel like I just want to inspire people and I want to show people that you don't have to have all the money in the world to do things that make you happy and then two, I want people to feel comfortable in their skin. I want people to realize that you don't have to be a size 6 in order to love yourself and to love your image no matter what society says and I'm glad that you know we're getting to a point in society where 
being plus size is more acceptable, if you will, but we still have a lot of work to do when it comes to our society. I think last year, 2020, definitely proved that, that we have so much work to do as humans, as just a country, <laughs> and just people in general, but I feel like if I can just do my little small part in that and help people feel comfortable in their skin and realize that you can be whoever the hell you want to be, no matter, no matter what, that's all I want to do. That's why I'm here. So yeah, if you guys watched this far, thank you so much and just know I love you. I wouldn't do this if it weren't for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure you're following me on all of my socials they'll be down in the description box below i will also um put all the products i use i know i have pretty much mentioned everything but i'll put them in there just in case you need to go back and refer to them hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and i love you so much thanks for watching see you next week